A local couple that has golfed their way up and down the East Coast claims they were discriminated against by a publicly owned course in Prince George's County. And they say it's all because of a wheelchair. Josie Sturman has a story you'll see only on 7. In golf, you've got no choice but to face the tee alone. But on the fairway here at the Eisenhower Golf Course, Cricket Ortakowski has support along for the ride. What a beautiful day, huh? Her husband, Dean, is a quadriplegic, but it doesn't keep him off the course. It's probably about 135, so it's a seven hour for you. The couple has golfed together for more than a decade, 70 plus courses, two times a week, and never a problem, they say, until about a month ago. Great job. I mean, this is the first course that ever made me feel disabled. Dean Ortakowski is talking about another course, Enterprise in Mitchellville. It's publicly owned by Prince George's County Parks and Rec. And I walked in with him and they said, sir, he's not going out in the course, is he? And I said, yeah, he's going to come right along with me. He goes, oh, he can't do that. The Ortakowskis claim club management had a host of reasons why, saying it doesn't allow fivesomes and that Dean would have to use a golf cart, something he physically can't do. It was just humiliating and embarrassing to sit in a pro shop. Well, he came up with excuse after excuse. The Ortakowskis consider what happened to them discrimination. They filed a complaint with the Department of Justice, claiming Enterprise violated the Americans with Disabilities Act. Parks and Rec says this is an issue of liability, not disability. And all Dean Ortakowski had to do was pay some greens fees and take along a few clubs, and he would have been good to go. We have a risk policy that says that we do not allow spectators on any of our golf courses. But Kira Calm Lewis with Parks and Rec says if Dean had simply acted as a player by paying to play, he would have waived the club of liability. This man has to basically tell a lie to be able to golf with his wife according to the policy as it stands. Well, we're not asking him to lie, but the point is that we are not allowing spectators on the course. That policy is clearly stated in the clubhouse, but as for liability, players don't sign anything before they take the course. Nothing surprises me anymore, unfortunately. Mark Perriella with the American Association for People with Disabilities isn't shocked by what happened to the Ortakowskis, but he says if Enterprise employs a standard policy for all, there's no ADA violation. This man just wants to enjoy the day. It's as simple as that. But the Ortakowskis say they felt treated differently, something they never expected on the course. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News.